Hello, Groovers. It's all about the life hack, this podcast today. So I have got my Caviar Illumination Anti-Age Night Cream from Aldi and um, Day Cream, which is SPF 15. I thought that's quite good. That's high. So I'm going to be using that every day. Now, this is a dupe or a copy of La Prairie. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's 450 quid. 450 quid for a, a pot. I, I mean, who does that? God, I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to be able to spend that much on face cream. But I don't know if I, even if I was really, really rich, would I? When you can get a dupe? So, let me have a little... Well, anyway, if you go to um, uh, Aldi's website, they tell you all about it. And it's, you know, it's wonderful properties. But the fact that I'm saving 400... Well, it, I think this costs seven ninety nine or something. The fact that I'm saving £433 or whatever it was. No, £43. Um, it fills me with great joy, guys. Great joy. Um, so I'll put it on a minute and um, I'll do it live, shall I? And then we can... Let me just put this microphone down. Let's do it. Let's do it live. So the first one I'm going to try out is the night cream. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do one eye with the night cream and one eye with the day cream. So night cream. It's got a nice little pot. Fits in your hand or fit in your handbag. Take off the silver paper now it's hyaluron acid i know which is just water fancy water um so i'm putting it on it smells pretty innocuous i mean it smells just it smells quite unscented which i quite like because it's usually the scents that i'm allergic to feels nice guys feels nice it's going on very smoothly um what can i say well i like it so far the t the glass bottle that it's in is looks nice enough. It's got caviar written on the front of it, which is nice, isn't it? I mean, people don't know where you get your stuff from. And what they've done, and they haven't put Aldi all over it, which is a good thing. They've put Lacura all over it. Anti-age night cream. Caviar illumination. So, you know, if you've got that in your bathroom... Or, you know, you're doing a selfie and it's there and you're, you know, trying to impress people. I mean, people like me would look it up and then I'd know it was Aldi. And I, I wouldn't drudge you. I'd just go and buy some. <laughs> That's the way I work, guys. Um, let's have a look at the day version. So I'm expecting this one to be lighter because um, you'd want to put, probably put makeup on top of it to some extent. Um, I just like that it's high SPF, you know, because I... I've been struggling with finding something with SPF that I can wear all day, you know. Um, and obviously we, we want to protect our skins. Now, interestingly enough, this one feels a bit heavier, actually, a bit thicker. It, do you know what it is? It does. It actually feels just slightly. Um, it's, oh, but it spreads better. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? it I, I'm going to put all this over one side. Um, now I usually I can usually tell if I'm allergic to something pretty much straight away. It starts to. Oh, it, I'll tell you what. It's stretchy. Do you know what I mean? It's stretchy. It's going a long way. Um, but it feels very nice. Smells pretty much the same as the night version. Well, this tub is going to last me a very long time, guys. It is indeed. So, well, that was that. Now the other life hack that I've got for you. I bought, let's just pop that away. And oh, this one's in a silver tub. So you've got one in blue glass and one in silver. Which, and they look very pretty. They look nice. They're going to look nice on my, on my, on the edge of my bed, on my tray. My uh, accoutrements, is that the word? My tray for everything I need when I'm in bed. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Um, right, so then I bought, and it's arrived today, delivered from China, obviously, um, because I'm a bargain hunter. And it's a USB charging bicycle lamp with a back light as well, which um, I needed anyway. Now, I'd said the other day that I tried out my old bicycle light 
in my hallway and it lit the whole hallway and I was really impressed with it. But th it has um, a thing you can hear which enlarges the distance of the light and it's also USB. Now the one I've just bought, it isn't USB, it's got... It's got little lights. And I I mean, it said it was as bright as daylight, but I used it in the hall and it didn't light the hall. So either this other one I've got is really incredibly, um, you know, high, high output. Um, or they lied, one or the other. And apparently a lot of these companies do lie about their lumens, um, you know, or exaggerated truths, maybe. So... But the thing I do like about it is it's, I mean, it's a spot, right? So you can't widen it. So it really lit my face. So it would be quite good if you were doing makeup, I think, although you, you wouldn't be able to look at it. Do you know what I mean? It was very bright. So the light is centred in quite a small area and it doesn't expand at all. Now, that's really good for cycling because the one I've got that I use for cycling at the moment um it, it's you know if you open it up too wide you literally people think you're a police car um it's that bright and especially if you've got it on flashing I mean sometimes I do it just to worry the drug dealers hanging on the corners of the streets you know what I mean um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that the new one for the bike but do you know what I've just noticed it says USB charging and then it says can be used as bicycle light or flashlight built-in battery, small and exquisite, it does look posh, I'll give it that, can charge your phone. Can charge your phone? That's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, if you're out and about and you're, perhaps if you're mountain biking and you want, you think, oh, I need to take a picture of this, or, you know, wonderful view, but darn it, I've run out of battery. Do you know what I mean? You can quickly charge it. I think that's really, that's a splendid idea. I mean, obviously your lights need to be charged, fully charged. It does say if you haven't used them for three months to give it a charge. Um, I mean, what I do, I've got a basket on, a, a, like I bought it from a Norwegian company, I believe. And it it just clips on and clips off my handlebars really, really easily. It's like wicker. And I attach my lights to that and this light is perfect on it and the backlight is also a little sort of clip on stretchy band that you just clip on um, and it's flashing and it's a row oh you can have it still but it's static but it's a row of red for your reverse lights um so I thought do you know what I feel a bit posh because I've just had, a, had new pannier bags from mum which are very classy indeed and now I've got fancy new lights I think well I'm a, I'm a quite, you know, I'm quite the cyclist about town. Um, I mean, it's a bit knobby, isn't it? When you look at people and they've got all the gadgets. And let me just lift this mic. When you when they've got all the, you know, like these pointy um, aerodynamic, um, you know, helmets and lycra and pads. I just look at them and think knob. Do you know what I mean? Because you know what sort of person they are, don't you? You really do. But I may be sort of turning some way into that that person <laughs> with my light, with my fancy lights and my fancy bags. Um, so, yeah, I mean, really excellent um, way to light the studio when my other lights come, because this what I'll do is I'll use my old bicycle light, which is really bright. Unfortunately, I'm completely unable to tell you who made it where I got it well I got it, I think I would have probably got it on Amazon or eBay um but I suppose you, if you looked for um oh, I don't know expanding light or adjustable width LED lamp for bicycles something like that because I mean it's very small it's much smaller than the one I've just bought and it's got this dial that's around the lens a bit like you know when you're when you're adjusting the focus on your Canon or whatever it is, your your photo photography equipment, do you know what I mean? Your film camera or your um, or your stills camera, and you adjust it so it rotates like that. Do you see what I mean? And and it expands or shrinks the field of light. So it can. When I had it open, as open shutter as it were, um, it really lit the hallway. 
And because I'm doing burlesque dancing and exercise and fitness and what have you, I need to like my whole body, not just my face. So I would say you can get away with the one that doesn't adjust its width or adjust its field if you're doing makeup. Um, and it was quite a cheap option and actually really bright. Brighter. Yes, all right, come on, darling. Actually brighter, I would say, much brighter, actually, than the circular lights. You know those ones that the makeup artists use, which have really not done me any favours because they're, um, they might be all right if they're right in front of your face and you've got your, your phone in front of, you know, in, in the middle of the circle. But for again, for what I want to do, even the art, you know, you find actually when you're doing an artwork, it, it's bigger than you think because what? What? Goodness me. You know, because you, you, you want it to see your hands moving and you might have a large area of, of equipment and things like that. Do you see what I mean? So, you, you know, you don't want a little small area where you're drawing. You actually want, you need quite a bit of space. Um, so, actually, that reminds me, I'm doing an absolutely wonderful illustration and I wanted to share that with you a bit later over on my Vimeo channel. And I also got, guys, it's really exciting, um, 60 stencils from AliExpress. They were very cheap. They were well under, uh, I think they were like three something or... You know, just very, very cheap. And they all clip together on like a, a a ring. You can put them all on a ring so you don't lose them. And the ones I got are, are um, kind of nature inspired. So insects, I've got a wasp, a bee. I mean, there are 60 of them. There's so many to go through. Dragonfly, lots of insects. They're quite good for tattoo stencils as well if you wanted to, to do something like that. Um, with that kind of um, black and white effect, like a stencil, you know. So that would be really good for hand poking. So what, what I would do is I would use my tattoo pen, put it on my body, because these are small. They're about two inch squares. I would, no, maybe three inch. Let's have a look. One, two and a half inch square. Um, so put one on my body, use my red tattoo pen to draw in the stencil, and then I would fill it in with my black ink. So I thought, that's quite good, isn't it? That's another life hack, really. Um, it saves you using, having to do the transfer. Um, you have to be a bit confident about your uh, your drawing ability. But then I am, you see. I'm very good with, with that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, should we, I might do that later on. I do like the bee, but I've already got a bee, guys. Um, can you have more, too many bees on your personage? Probably probably but they've got birds and butterflies but there were there were, there were some others that I got which were a bit bigger I don't know if they'll fit on any part of my body but I do have a spare shin um which are sea creatures and I really wanted a jellyfish so I'm going to think about that um and and maybe maybe we'll have a look at that later on today so loads of life hacks today really really good join me um, I'm a life hacker by, you know, obsession. I, I'm always looking for a life hack. And um, once upon a time, I had a, record, a, a film photo studio booth and I actually used workman's lights. And I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're sort of, um, you can, they're, they're on like yellow stands, tri, kind of tripod things, but really sturdy because they're for workmen and for building sites. And they're really, really bright. They really push out the the bright light at night, you know, it's, or when it's overcast, or mostly for night, you know, and um, movable as well. So you could just move them up and down. But the other thing about them is they were really warm. So they really warmed up a space very, very quickly. So that was quite useful in winter. I used to have this club and it was so vast. And, you know, if you people are taking their clothes off for a photo shoot, um, and maybe putting them back on, but who knows? Uh, you you need to be warm, so that's that's another life hack. God, I'm full of them today, guys. I'll be back later with more life hacks, probably, or certainly some more stories coming up today. Lots of um, free bedtime stories if you're interested in that sort of thing. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm thinking, God, I look younger already. Thank you, caviar from Aldi. <laughs> www.iserverland.com for my personal website and Telltale Club for the businessy one.